one of the rules in accessibility required us that we don't use color alone to convey information. And the reason behind that is that people may have color blindness or they may have low vision, so they may not be able to distinguish the color. And information that is color, that is conveyed using color alone will not be better uh, consumed. Or it will be harder to consume for those that have that uh, color blindness or color or low contrast or low vision. So an example is right in front of us charts. Charts use lots of colors and they show information by color. You can add labels, you can add do things, but there are still some basic things that we need to take care of uh, and, uh, and make our charts accessible. Here's an example. Uh, so what we have here is a graph, a stacked, a stacked bar graph. And you know, you'll see that there is 30% of something, then there is 50% of something, and there's 20% of something within that stacked bar. Now, if I were colorblind, then I wouldn't be able to tell what is uh, what in terms of the legends. So here you'll see the orange is 30%, or yellow is the 50%, uh, and then the green is the 20%, and respectively they are yes, no, and in progress for whatever information this graph is giving. The problem here is that even though there are legends, there is data and all that stuff, it's hard for people to distinguish between these colors and hence the data. So the information is not easy to see. What you can do is uh, apply some visualization so that it is easily distinguishable, not just with color alone. Um, so let's see how, how and so I'll show you on how you can convert your graph into an accessible graph by just changing some things and instantly making it accessible. There are other few considerations that I'm going to talk about as well, and we will uh, see in just a second. So you would so to change the appearance of this particular graph to make it more accessible, we want to add different patterns to each of these legends. So I'll select the first one, and then or you can just select that and then in this paint tool. Never mind. You can select that and select format data series. And here you will select the pattern fill for for this particular one and Whatever you want to select here, you can you can do so. I'm going to select. So one more thing I want to call out is that you don't want to leave this white background because the white over white is hard to see again. So even if the con information is being conveyed uh, differently, not using color alone, it is still hard to see now. Now right now in progress is showing like two dots, and I can't even tell. And here you will see this. There is no border. There is nothing. So it's it's again creating of that problem. It's not distinguishable. So you have to look at the intent of the guideline as well. So here I am going to select pattern. And so to avoid that contrast problem, I am going to select a darker background. And here it is red or dark red. Let's do this one. Dark maroon. And the foreground be white so that it's easy to see. And here you will see it's separated not just by color. Now you can see the dots and the dots refer to in progress. Now do the same thing for the other ones. So select the bar or the particular area of the bar and then change the color and the pattern to do whatever you want. In this case, I'm going to select a zigzag pattern. Uh, again, changing the foreground or the back and the background accordingly. I am going to select and an orange, sorry, it's brown. I'm going to select something lighter actually. So let's do this. And then the foreground could be black. So it's easy to see. And then the last one is last one you can just leave a solid block. Uh, so now here you can see that 
there is a solid block which refers to which uh, corresponds to yes then there is a zigzag block which corresponds to no and then there is a dotted block that corresponds to in progress so let me show you one more thing even though it is separated and differentiated or distinguished with patterns and not only color you still are not making it accessible it's still not as accessible to people that may have problems to uh, understand so what in that case i would do is increase the size of the legends area and increase the font size within them so now it's more clear on what is a yes what is a no and what is an in progress so that's how you would do accessibility of charts just for that specific problem which is color alone which is a big problem there are so many people that have color blindness and just showing these colors in greens and reds is not helpful another few things that i want to call out is that, that make sure that you have data labels even if you're not showing color alone it's helpful for everybody you can people can quickly see what data it is so that they don't, they don't have to calculate that which is uh, which is coming from a cognitive side of accessibility rule accessibility rules and then another thing i want to call out is that you can also still make this graph a little bit more visually appealing so I, i've just randomly chosen these colors but if you thought through it uh, you might want to select the largest block with a lighter or a softer tone so in this case i've gone with uh, by tone, I mean the pattern, patterns tone. So it's not very busy, so it's not very hard to grasp. You would basically just select something like a solid block. For me, at least that worked. So solid block, the largest one, and then the smallest one, I would actually go the smallest one, which would be the top one here with the zigzag lines because that's, because that's the bus busiest pattern in this case. So if you do that, then it's less... Uh, you know, less information to process visually. There is so, so much going on uh, in a graph with the zigzag patterns and whatnot. So I'll, this is an example. You know, here you will see the dark, the solid green, and it's it's dark enough to compare between the background of the slide itself with the graph bar, and then also the second one, which is the dotted pattern, which is also a lighter, you know, not as busy pattern. And then the last one, which is the red, and it has the busiest pattern. Um, so you can choose other options too, but try to make sure that they are all clearly distinguishable, not just um, not just like selecting a different pattern and checking that box. So just make sure of that, and make sure that your your again your legends are clearly visible, and then you can recognize the patterns within them to match with the graph. And I also do other things. For example, I make sure that these um, these series information is enough, is visible enough and properly visible. Sometimes it's like light gray and it's hard to see. For example, this line is super light, but it's not really required. So I don't really, I don't think so that is necessary to understand the information, but this range and these labels are important for people to understand. All right, with that, uh, thank you so much.